brother uh, had quite a varied life, shall we say. He worked in the Foreign Office abroad most of his life, um, and uh, he came back to England in 2012, mm -hmm. um, but short, uh, 2010, wasn't it? Mm. But shortly afterwards, um, he uh, got diagnosed with cancer. So um, he, he always used to talk for England, um, but uh, sadly when he had his cancer, he... It came in the throat, so, so that he, rather stymied him. Yeah, right? so he then resorted to writing. So um, he actually wrote, I think we found about 170 notebooks, um, and a lot of the uh, content of this comes from those notebooks, piecing it all together. Karen said it really marks life story, although he, as he has put it on the back, um, that he was one of life's losers. <laughs> Everything went wrong for him. And, um, uh, it, but it, in such an amusing way, he never ever felt sorry for himself. But we did put in one chapter at the end of all the friends who had been involved in his care. Um, doctors, nurses, carers, um, friends who put their own little words in, which is most interesting to read, isn't it? Yeah, it is really entertaining. I think that's the main thing. Mark wouldn't want you to read this and be sad. This is this is about um, him taking the Mickey out of himself. Mm. Um, and uh, when he was in hospital, he'd find humour in everything that happened, even uh, the strangest, you know, even mm. toilet things, anything, <laughs> anything. He'd find humour in it, and. Uh, I'd often find him a lot of patients sitting around and he would make them laugh, even though he's having to write most of it. Mm. He found it really, really funny. Um, yeah. You are supposed to laugh at him in this book. Mm. Yes, that's what it's about, really.